email is one of those things that we're going to give a little bit more time and detail to than we do some of the other protocols. So email allows us asynchronous communication. That's really nice. That is to say, I don't have to be there in order to receive the email. You can send it, and I can pick it up at my leisure. It's what we call a store and forward technology. That is to say, email is sent to the next device, the next server, when that server is available. And it's then forwarded on uh, when, the, when the following server is available. Or in the case of the end game here, when the user, the reader, is available to read it. Email, as I mentioned earlier in the timeline, is a text-only medium. Between 1989, when email was invented, and 1992, email was not capable of multimedia messages or attachments. So in 1992, we developed something called MIME, which was uh, allow, which now allowed uh, text to represent multimedia. So you just there would be a, a whole mishmash-looking bunch of uh, of text characters that you and I didn't mean anything to you and me, but uh, the the MIME software in the email program was able to convert that between say a picture uh, you know, from text to to a picture. Now here are the parts of email. At either end is the MUA, and that's the mail user interface. So this is the actual software that allows you to write or to read email. Now once you send an email out through your M MUA, it goes out to an MTA. The MTA are these servers, these intermediate servers that transfer email from one server to the next server across the internet. And finally, it gets to the MDA, and the MDA is the last server, the one that now feeds that email finally to the reader at the other end. So the MDA is the mail delivery agent, and it is that last server just before it goes back to the mail user interface for the reader. And you can see that in reverse over here. Now the MUA, these become MTAs, and finally the MDA uh, over here for this computer. Now let's talk about the protocols. SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is the one that this guy over here, the sender, uses to send email to the MTA. It's also used, by the way, for MTA to MTA. So SMTP is the protocol used to go from one MTA to another as it goes across the Internet. Finally, the MDA. Well, the MDA uses one of two uh, protocols, POP3 or IMAP. POP3, the Post Office Protocol version 3, used by the MDA to store that email, and then when the user requests that email, it just dumps it from here to that, that uh, MUA, or the, the user interface. Uh, this was common in the early days of email, where you had, say, Outlook or Thunderbird, and you would ask for your mail, and it all just be dumped onto your Outlook or your Thunderbird, and then it was no longer on the server for you to access. So you had to have that computer, you had to be sitting in front of that computer in order to read your old mail. Well, that wasn't very useful with the mobility uh, issue of people, so IMAP was invented, the Internet Message Access Protocol, and with this, the MDA here uh, stores that email permanently, and then the receiver down here simply reads it through their MUA, uh, the the user interface. Um, they the the user reads this mail, but the email does not leave that MDA at that point. If it's using IMAP, I can create folders on there and rearrange my email, but it stays on that server unless I delete it. So with POP3, the user then must have access to his or her computer in order to read the messages that have been transferred. But with IMAP, the user can access email from anywhere, and it'll always remain there available for them. 